I've had a few conversations this week with some girls, you know, talking about strength training, building muscle, dropping body fat, getting into shape. And nine out of those 10 conversations have gone something like this. Yeah, Grant, but it's December. Tomorrow play, so what? Well, I've got a lot of events coming up in December. It might just be best for me to hold off and wait till January. My response, okay, let's break it down. Let's say you've got 10 events over the next couple of weeks until the end of the year. That's probably going to be 10 bad binge meals, okay? If you eat three meals per day for 30 days, that's 90 meals. So you can still operate 90% of good. And that's, that'll still get you to your goals. Operating at 90% is better than operating than not operating at all and just throwing it all out the window. If you put all your fitness stuff aside for December and wait until January, all you're teaching yourself to do is wait for the perfect moment and obviously procrastinate. But here's the thing. Here's something that I've definitely learned in the last 30 odd years being on this planet. And that is when something stops, generally something else will take its place in terms of time. So yeah, all the events might stop in December or at the end of December, I should say. But in January, something else is going to take that spot. I don't know what it will be for you or for me, but I know that something else is going to pop up and it's going to force me to procrastinate and once again, wait for the perfect time. And it'll happen again in February and March and April and May and for the rest of every single month in 2020. So what you need to do is you need to take action in imperfect situations. Regardless of what month it is, regardless of what events are coming up, regardless of what's on your plate. Teach yourself to simply get shit done regardless of the situation. 